you know, up front, we're just trying to be as physical as we can, you know, and finishing blocks, you know, always looking to see where we can finish more and just trying to be physical and dominating whoever's across from us, you know, and along with that too, we're just trying to gel, you know, trying to, you know, increase that camaraderie up front because, you know, we've got so many guys that have played, you know, mm -hmm. not taking that for granted and continuing to try and, you know, increase that camaraderie up front. And you've seen Big 12 offenses through the years. Mm -hmm. Why is this one distinct? I think we're, we're, we're going to have a few new wrinkles that, you know, that people I, I don't think have seen before. Um, you know, some of our tendencies and things like that are, are going to make us unique in what we do. And I think a lot of everybody on offense is taking pride in that so far, you know, and I think being able to go out and execute that's going to make us successful. I want to ask, what's, if at all, what's the biggest difference between what you're asked to do under the previous staff to what you're doing now? Or is it, is there a lot of similarities in terms of what the center position is asking us all about? You, you know, is. There, there's a lot more similarities, um, especially at the center position. Um, you know, Mike IDs, are, you know, everything starts with that, you know, and getting things directed. Um, I would say about the same way it's put on things. Um, so that part's good because there's not much change up there. In terms of you guys lost Dalton, you also lost Abdul. Mm -hmm. What can you say about some of the younger guys that are maybe going to be looking to fill those positions, like is Josh Revis, is he making kind of the progressions you'd hope to see, guys like that? Yeah, yeah. No, Josh Josh is making great strides at that guard position, and, and Nick has stepped in and has been playing great so far in spring mm -hmm. ball. So, you know, those, are, those would fill the two positions, you know, with Abdul and Dalton leaving. And so, you know, those guys have done great so far. Yeah. What's it like playing for Connor Riley? You know, it, it's great. He's got a ton of energy, you know, and he brings that, you know, to the meetings, to the locker room, to before practice and then through practice, you know, and it's it's been great so far just because he's he's done a great job of, you know, trying to break things down for us and, you know, helping us, you know, make that transition from one playbook to another. Um, you know, can't say enough good things about him. Uh, Charlie Dickey was a great position coach. Are their styles and teaching technique much different? There's a lot of similarities, you know, of the terminology is different, um, maybe some of the, the smaller technique things, but, you know, they're looking for the same things, you know, effort, finishing blocks, you know, you know, the importance to both of them of taking care of business in the classroom, off the field, things like that. You know, so th there's some minor differences, but there's a lot of similarities between the two. Coaching changes happen, you know, it's mm -hmm. just in the nature of the business. How relieved were you to find out that really this offense isn't radically different and this is still a offensive line offense. Your guys are going to mm -hmm. lead the way. Yeah, no, that was something that, you know, when they first came, when the whole new staff first came in, we first got the playbook, it was, it was somewhat daunting, you know, because of the terminology is completely different and you break it down into the X's and O's and there's a lot of carryover. And so I think because we've got so much experience on the O-line, we kind of, had that realization where the, this is nothing new. This is stuff that we've been doing. The terminology is different, but the schemes are the same, you know, and it just comes down to who wants it more up front. And I think that's, you know, something that we all bought into and we're all excited about. You were asked earlier about guys that have stepped up into mm -hmm. starting roles. Who are some of the young guys, though, that are really going to add to the depth of this offensive line? You, you know, so, I mean, first of all, you know, Josh is progressing well and, and Nick has stepped in and played great, you know. And then, you know, Evan Curl is going to add some depth at us for the interior. Um, ben Adler as well. And then uh, Noah Johnson just joined the team at semester. He's done a good job stepping in that center position. So, you know, and then you got guys like Katori Levison out at tackle, too. I think that's a lot of guys. But, you know, a lot of guys have stood out with things that they've been able to accomplish so far through the spring. Is a fresh start good for guys like that? They get a new coaching staff, new eyeballs to look at that look at them and, and evaluate them? Yeah, I, I think, you know, it, it can be a positive, um, you know, if, if they have the right approach to the thing too, you know, they got to come in and, you know, want to, you know, impress and show the coaches. But I think a fresh set of eyes can be beneficial for guys like that. Uh, changing topics now. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, sometimes battling for a position and having that competition is really good, but it, mm -hmm. it almost seemed like Skyler being one foot in as quarterback and one foot in as the backup mm -hmm. quarterback really didn't work for him. Mm -hmm. how, how has he changed this spring knowing that it is his job? You know, Skyler's done a great job of really, you know, taking control of things, you know, off-season workouts as well as in practice too, you know, just commanding that huddle, you know, and he, you can tell that he's more confident in his, in his leadership abilities, you know, and so that's that's great to see for him, you know, and I'm, you know, glad that he's got more confidence because he is a great leader and just, you know, him knowing that he can do those things has been beneficial for us.
What are the expectations of this team? Has, has anything changed with the coaching change? You, you know, the expectations are the same. You know, we want to be physical. We want to, you know, be assignment sound. You know, we want to be able to run the ball. You know, those are things that, you know, we the same was under Coach Snyder, and those those things haven't changed. And so, that, you know, those are, those are goals for, you know, the offense as well as just us offensive linemen.